Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. Today in this video, we will see how can we generate the JWT token using Spring Security. Uh, let's get started. You can see here the Spring Boot application. So let me stop this. Go to our form.xml and here I'm going to add few dependencies that is used to generate the JWT token. So let me add here. You can see the dependencies. First one is a Spring Boot Starter Security. Second one is a JJWT API, JJWT Impl, and you can see the jjwt jackson so this is for the testing purpose and you can see the jjwt from jackson web token and you can see the android json and you can see the commons dot lang3 so let's refresh the maven so here i'm going to create a new package utils in the utils package i'm going to create a new class the class name is a jwt util let's annotate this class with at the rate component so in this class i'm going to add a few methods and you can see the methods that is a extract username so this method is allow us to extract the username from the token so let's import these claims from the io dot json web token so after that you can see the generate token method so in the argument it will receive a user details and it will return a new hash map with the user detail and you can see the method that is a is token valid so basically the purpose of this method is it will return a boolean type like token is valid or not okay and you can see the extract claim methods so let me import this function and you can see the generate token method so let me import this from java.util and the date over here io.json web token and the jwt so after that you can see the method that is a generate refresh token and you can see the method that is a is token expired it will return a boolean type like true and false and you can see the extract expiration it will return the date of the token expiration and you can see the method that is a extract all claims and you can see the method that is a get sign in key we are passing here the secret key and it will return a key to this method that is a extract all claims so let me import this key from Java dot security and the decoders JSON web token dot io and we need to import this. Let's import this user details from the org dot spring framework dot security dot core dot user details and you can see the hash map. So after that, I'm going to implement this user entity with the user details. So we need to implement few methods. So let me add after that. You can see the few methods. Let me import this grand authority and the collection from the Java dot util list from the java.util and you can see the simple granted authority we need to port from spring authority so let's go to our services and here i'm going to create a new sub package and the package name is a jwt so here i'm going to create an interface and it will be a user service so here i'm going to add a method that is a user detail service so let me import this user detail service from framework security core.user details let's go to our jwt package and here i'm going to create a new class that is a user service impulse so we need to implement with our user service and let me add a annotation that is a at the rate service so in this class i'm going to add a method so you can see the method that is used to load username from our database you see here i have injected here your user repository so let's import this and we need to import this from framework.security.core.user details let's import this and the new username not found exception we added the annotation that is at the rate required args constructor to create the constructor so basically the purpose of this method is used to get the user details from our database you can see here we are passing the username like the email you can see here the method from our user repository that is a find first by email we are passing the email and it will return an optional user because we have two possibilities we will got a user with the email or not okay in our configuration package i'm going to create a new class that is a authentication filter let me make it as a jwt authentication filter let's annotate it with let's annotate it at the rate component annotation and we need to extend this class with once per request filter okay so in this class i'm going to add a method so basically the purpose of this class is used to extract the token from the request like if we want to fetch the authenticated api so we need to pass the token into our header with the key authorization and the value that is a barrier space token so we need to extract the details of the token from the 
authorization and we need to allow the user to access our authenticated api so basically jwt authentication filter will perform this action okay you can see here jwt util file so let me import this let me add here the annotation that is add the red required ergs constructor to create constructor let's import this user service from our project okay so after that you can see here the method that is a do filter internal we need to import this and you can see the http servlet request HTTP servlet response and the filter chain over here. Let's import this servlet exception and the IOT. And you can see the spring utils. You can see here we are saving the authorization key into this variable. And you can see I've initialized here JWT and the user email variables. And we are split the value barrier space from the token and we will get the token after that so let's import this and the user details over here security context username password authentication token and the web authentication token source error removed from this file so after that i'm going to create a new class that is a web security configuration so let me add here the annotation that is a add the rate configuration add the rate enable web security enable method security and the fourth annotation we need to add here that is a add the rate required ARGS constructor. Okay, so here I'm going to add a method and I will explain you the purpose of this file. So let's import this user service from our and the bean we need to import from context dot annotation. So let security filter chain and the http security over here abstract http configuration let's import user role from our enum. So let's import this from our ring framework dot security and you can see the password encoder let's import this speaker password encoder authentication provider and you can see the the authentication provider and the authentication manager over here authentication configuration so you can see here the route that is a slash api slash or so we are aligning this route without jwt token like user can access these apis without jwt token sign up and the login api and you can see the route that is a slash api slash admin slash terrestry so these routes uh, will use in the admin module and you can see the route that is a slash api slash customer so these route will use into our customer module so we are aligning these two routes with the jwt token you can see here the route that is a slash api slash or we have added here the permit all allow without the jw token it will be a session creation policy dot stateless so you can see the method that is a password encoder so basically the purpose of this method is used to change the password into the hash form from the plain text like we will send the password into the form of a plain text the password encoder will change the password into the hash form and you can see the two methods that is the authentication provider and the authentication manager these methods are help us to generate the jw token so here in the dto i'm going to create a new class that is a authentication response let me add here the annotation i'm adding here the properties that we need to send the response to the and the login successful you can see the jw user the role and the user id over here after that i'm going to add here the authentication request class let me add here the annotation that is a read data here i'm going to add two properties first one is a string email and the second that is a string password after that so here in our auth controller i'm going to add a new method the login you can see let me go from the top after the auth service let's import this authentication manager user service in the jwt util is a repository let's import this authentication response from our project and you can see the authentication request that i have created in our dto package let's import this bad connection exception disable exception in the username node found exception and you can see the username password authentication token let's import this so we need to get here the email and you can see the authentication request dot get password okay so basically the purpose of this method is used to check the credential of the user like user with the email and the password is already exist in our database or not in case uh, password is incorrect or user not found then we need to return here incorrect username or password after that the email and the password is correct we need to get the user details from our database you can see i've added here the method that is a load user by username from our user detail service i've added here the method in our user service impl so we need to pass here the email let's import this let's import our entity that is a user called a method from our jwt util that is a generate token and we have passed the user details you can see the generate token method and after that i've created here the object of our authentication response in case if optional user is present then we need to set jwt user id and the user role and after that we need to return here the subject that is authentication response i have copy pasted all the code to generate token because we have covered this topic in the detail i have attached the video link in the description you can check it out to implement this functionality let's go to our service impl and here you can see we are set the password 
into the form of a plain text so let me cut this and add here new decrypt password encoder dot encode and in the argument we need to pass here the object that is a sign up request dot get password okay application is started to port 8080 let's hit this api the url is slash api slash or slash sign up and we need to pass email name and the password in the body let's go to our postman so let me add here the url of our api that is a slash api slash auth slash sign up and the mapping it will be a post body we need to attach here in the form of a json you can see email password and the name let's hit this api and you can see 201 status created so let's refresh the table and you can see the password in the hash form so let's log in and generate the jtb token for this user so let me add here the url of our login api that is a slash api slash or slash login and here we need to select post let's attach the body into the form of a json and here i'm going to remove this name property and we just need to pass here email and the password let's click on the send button and you can see the jw token generated successfully and you can see the role that is a user and the id that is a tool let's post another user let me remove the customer and adding here the test and the name test and the password that is a test let's hit on send button and you can see customer created it successfully let's generate the jw token for this customer oh, let me add here the email test at the test.com and the password let's click on the send button and you can see jw token generated successfully that's all for now from my side i hope you like this video i will attach the video link in the description you can check it out and also subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon